Hi, I'm teacher Edgar. We're working on intentional teaching card M14. Patterns. Here's the objective. Demonstrates knowledge of patterns. So here's what we're going to do. You're going to be teaching your child an ABAB repeating pattern. Here's what you need to set aside. Find some common household items that are identical. For an example, spoons that you may have in your drawers. Or maybe some building bricks like these Legos. Make sure that they are the same size, same color, or even something like socks. Once you have those set aside, then I want you to take your child somewhere around your home and see if you can find a repeating pattern like maybe floor tiles like blue, yellow, blue, yellow on the floor, or maybe stripes on their shirt. Oh, I see there's red, blue, red, blue. Just point out that pattern and see if they can maybe repeat it or just point to it as you are showing it to them. And then maybe you want to get a checkerboard game and show the really clear pattern there, like red, black, red, black, or maybe a Connect Four game and put the, the pieces in together, building that ABAB -A -B pattern, red, yellow, red, yellow, red, yellow. Once you've done that, then you're gonna help your child make another representation of an ABAB -A -B pattern. And I'm gonna bring my son in to help me with this. Emmett, come on over, you can stand right there. Now Emmett, you heard the examples, right? But let's imagine that we put this pattern together, right? Red, yellow, red, yellow. Do you see that A, B, A, B pattern? Well, I want to see if you can make a pattern with some stuff that I give you. Let's try it. We're going to try it with some socks and some spoons. Now, I'm going to start it off. I have a sock. And now I have a spoon. And now I have a sock. What do you think would come next? Would we put another sock, maybe some bricks, or a spoon? What do you think would go next? A spoon. Oh, can you put it there in the pattern for me? No, oh, you're good at this game. Let's try saying what we have so far. Sock. Spoon. Sock. Spoon. What would come next? Can you show me, please? Oh, you're so good at this. I think you've got the hang of it. Thank you. I appreciate it. You can go play now. Thank you, kiddo. It's something that simple. Just making a pattern, and you build up to it by noticing the patterns that already exist in your home, and then after that, recreate it. First, maybe in a game if you've got it, and if you don't, that's fine. But with common household items, please don't feel like you got to go buy specialized toys. You don't. You have everything you need in your own home. And then if you want to get even fancier or more fun, you can try doing things like getting a set of crayons and then asking them to draw a representation of it. For instance, you can say, oh, short line, long line, short line, long line, or maybe if they're ready for it, shapes, or you can draw it with them. Circle, triangle, circle, triangle. There really is, uh, so, there are so many ways to represent that ABAB -A -B pattern. And this skill will not only help them develop in the area of mathematics, but this will also help develop in the areas of language development, both receptive and expressive. So look around your home, find some patterns, and have fun. Thanks.